Welcome to the Carols of Christmas. Each day leading up to Christmas, I talk about a particular Christmas carol, explaining some of its history and background. And then finally, I'll sing a verse of it. I'll sing a verse of it for you. Some will be familiar and some probably not, but they all point us toward the true reason for the season, our Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Michael D. Young, and today we'll be talking about In the Bleak Midwinter. Today is the episode for December 21st, and I will be presenting In the Bleak Midwinter. The author of this carol's text overcame very poor health by finding solace in writing. Christina Rossetti was born in 1830 to Italian parents who were living in exile in London, England. Her father, Gabriella, was a professor of Italian at King's College in London. Her brothers were famous artists, and she was a personal friend of Charles Dogson. You might know him better as Lewis Carroll, who wrote Alice in Wonderland. She was sometimes known as the nun of art. She devoted herself completely to writing and other acts of Christian service. She remained unmarried her entire life, despite several proposals, and sometimes fought to come out of her brother's shadows. Her brothers received a lot of attention. They were high-profile prof- artists of the day, and so she sometimes struggled with that being in their shadow. During her life, she published three collections of poetry, most of it religious. She's also famous for writing the text for Love Came Down at Christmas, which is another beloved Christmas carol. In the Bleak Midwinter was written as a poem simply titled A Christmas Carol. It was published in the January 1872 issue of Scrivener's Monthly, so a magazine. The editor of the magazine had reached out to her to request a Christmas poem, and this was the result, thankfully. Twelve years after Christina's death, her words were paired with a tune by Gustav Holst to be published in the English Hymnal in 1906, and it's been used widely ever since. So though it's not likely that the birth of Jesus Christ actually occurred in the bleak midwinter, the song is more of an allegory talking about how the world was cold and dark, and then into it came the light of the world. So it's a beautiful text, and I would like to sing a verse of it for you now. In the bleak midwinter, frosty winds made moan, thirst at our desire. Water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long ago. Thank you so much for listening. Merry Christmas, and may God bless us, everyone.